Hey, welcome back. It's Jason Walter here. Today's housing market update is going to be slightly different than what I normally post on this channel. And that's because today's video, I'm going to take a deep dive into what our leading indicators are showing us so we can have a sneak peek of what a real estate market is going to be like in the next several months. So in today's video, I'm gonna share pending home sale numbers for November in the United States for existing houses, not brand new houses. NARA or the National Association of Realtors just released this data this morning. I'm also gonna share the latest numbers for mortgage applications as well as new home sales in the United States. Let me briefly explain each of these because these are indicators of what our housing market should be like in the next several months. Pending home sales is a leading indicator of our housing market because it measures contract activity, which means a home seller accepts an offer from a home buyer. Because a home goes into contract about a month or two before it's ultimately sold, pendings generally leads home sales by a month or two. And I almost forgot here, but I'm also gonna share the number of home showings and how that has changed recently in the United States. Also, mortgage applications for home purchases may also be considered a leading indicator because one could make the assumption that if mortgage applications increase greatly, then home sales may increase as well in the next several months. In contrast, if mortgage applications drop drastically, this could affect our home sales in the months to come. Lastly, new home sales can give us a glimpse into the future because developers measure a sale as when a buyer signs a contract and makes a deposit for a brand new house. Before we dive into the video here, I want to say that I'm seeing a lot of news articles and YouTube videos about everyone's housing market forecast for 2021. So I thought it'd be very valuable for viewers like you who want to see a housing market forecast video that's based on data. For those who do follow the channel, you know I love sharing housing market updates that are based on actual data and not throwing darts. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the video and also hit the like button if you appreciate real estate market updates just like this one. So this morning, the National Association of Realtors released November's pending home sales numbers with mixed news. As you can see, every region had a month over month decrease in pendings and pendings in the U.S. overall fell 2.6% from the prior month. This is the third straight month of declines. However, compared to one year ago, contract signings rose 16.4% with all regions reaching double digit year over year increases. In addition, the pending home sales index hit 125.7 and that is an all time high for November. So even though pendings have been decreasing for three straight months, overall compared to one year ago, they are up by double digits. Here's a really good graphic complements of the National Association of Realtors, which shows how their pending index has changed over the past couple of years by each of the four regions that NAR reports on. As you can see, pendings went fairly flat in 2019, but they took their normal dip around November and December of last year. However, pendings fell off a cliff in March and April 2020 when we had stay-at-home orders in many parts of the country. Then it skyrocketed in May before plateauing around September. The index in November this year is quite a bit higher than last year, even though we've had three straight months of declines. NAR's chief economist Lawrence Yoon said the following. He said, the latest monthly decline is largely due to the shortage of inventory and fast rising home prices. It is important to keep in mind that the current sales and prices are far stronger than one year ago. He's definitely right because if you watched my video from a couple days ago, you know that inventory in the U.S. is at an all-time low. In addition, home prices of existing homes in the U.S. have increased almost 15% compared to one year ago. According to Mr. Yoon's projections, he believes that mortgage rates will rise to around 3% from current rates of around 2.7%. He also expects existing home sales to increase roughly 10% and new home sales by 20% next year. And I'm curious, what do you think about this projection? Do you think he's right or wrong? Please leave me a comment below. In my opinion, I believe that mortgage interest rates will remain around 3% next year. Also, in my opinion, if inventory levels remain very, very low, then I would expect home prices to continue to increase in 2021. All right, let's change gears slightly here and talk about what we're seeing for home showings in the United States. And just to make sure we're on the same page here, a home showing means when a real estate agent shows a house that's listed for sale to their home buyers. The National Association of Realtors released what they're calling their Central Lock Home Showings Report. They actually just uh, issued that for the first time last month. 
but let's have a look at what we're seeing for November's numbers. The best way to discuss this information is to show you their showings per card. And this is basically how it works. When a house is listed for sale, it has a card. And when a realtor wants to access the house, they access that card and they show their house to their client. And all this information is tracked. It states on the report that the number of showings per card reflects the strength of buyer interest per listed property. At a national level, showings per card increased 7% year over year. However, there was a decrease of 15% from the prior month. Showings per card increased year over year in all regions but the South. The Northeast had a positive increase of 14%, the Midwest of 9 the West of 8%, and the South actually declined by 2%. So to summarize this report here, showings have increased when you compare it to one year ago, but they have dropped significantly when you compare it to the previous month. This decrease of 15% compared to the previous month is definitely something to follow and I'll definitely keep you updated about that. Is this a shift on a real estate market where buyers are becoming less enchanted with buying real estate? Or is this more reflective of the seasonality of a real estate market, meaning that home sales and home showings tend to decrease in the winter months, especially around the holidays? In my opinion, it's a little bit too early to tell if this is a long-term trend or a short-term trend, so I'll definitely keep you updated about this. Okay, let's have a look at mortgage applications for home purchases. So according to the latest data that we have from the Mortgage Bankers Association, or the MBA, their unadjusted purchase index dipped 7% from the previous week, but it was 26% higher than the same week one year ago. A dip of 7% compared to the previous week is not significant in my opinion, but a 26% increase from one year ago definitely is. So based on this information here, does this mean that home sales are set to skyrocket in the months to come? Not necessarily though, because these are just applications. Some of these applications may not translate to sales. However, an increase of 26% compared to one year ago is definitely indicative of our high buyer demand that we're seeing in the US right now. So let's see how this plays out over the next several months. Lastly, let's have a look at brand new home sales in the US, compliments of the US Census Bureau. And remember, a brand new home sale is just a signed contract. So according to the US Census Bureau, seasonally adjusted new home sales increased 20.8% from November 2019 to November 2020. And I'm not going to bore you to death by showing you this whole report. I actually read through it, so you don't have to. But here's what I found very interesting. So here are the seasonally adjusted annual sales numbers for 2020. These numbers are in thousands. So you see there in January 2020, they reported 774,000, which means at the pace of new home sales in January, 774,000 new houses would have sold for the entire year. This is called a seasonally adjusted rate, not monthly sales here. In any case, a sales dipped in March and April, which is expected given this pandemic and stay at home orders. Uh, then sales skyrocketed May through July, maintained about the same in August, but have decreased ever since then. However, when you compare November this year to last November, we are still way up. I'm guessing this decrease over the last few months is more indicative of the seasonality of our real estate market. However, if these numbers continue to decrease over a long-term trend, then uh-oh developers. Housing starts, which is the beginning phase of the construction of a brand new house, are up almost 15% when compared to last year. So if buyer demand remains the same as we have in 2020 and 2021, I would expect brand new home sales to increase in 2021 as well. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these indicators? Do you believe this is a shift potentially in our real estate market? Or do you believe this is business as normal? Comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it's completely free. Please do so. I post videos about how this pandemic is affecting our real estate market and I really enjoy making these videos for you. So I hope you're getting a lot of value out of them. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Sacramento Realtor. Hope you have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you on the next video.